In today's video, I'm going to show you two fantastic tools for bushcraft and camping that will not break the bank. Stick around. Top questions that I always get um, from people who are just starting off with bushcraft and camping is, uh, what tools do I need? And what are some good budget options that I can start with? Because, you know, when you're starting into a hobby um, and it's something that's new to you, you don't want to spend a ton of money um, because if you don't like it, if you don't enjoy yourself, then you're out a lot of money. And now what are you going to do? So I always recommend to people try um, more inexpensive brands, more value brands, try different things and see how you like them and then get comfortable with your skills. And then if you if you feel you need to get something bigger and better, spend more money, well then that's up to you. But um, there are some fantastic budget options out there that aren't necessarily junk um, and that, you know, uh, are keepers. And I wanna show you um, a company and a brand uh, that is producing some really nice knife and hatchet options. Um, I think you're gonna be surprised by these tools and by the price point that these come in at. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run them through their paces, do some testing, and just play with them out here in the woods because that's how you're gonna learn. Um, and hopefully this will help you make that decision when you go out to purchase your first bushcraft knife and hatchet. So the company we're going to be looking at today is a company called Beavercraft. And um, if you're not familiar with Beavercraft, they make a lot of um, wood carving tools and sets. Um, they are a company out of Ukraine, but they do have an Amazon presence. So a lot of their stuff sold through Amazon or sold through their website. Um, shipping times have been really fantastic from this company. And I think they're shipping from Amazon. That's why I'm getting them so quick. Uh, but uh, they really have come out with a nice budget line of bushcrafting tools. And what I want to show you today is this hatchet and this knife. Now, the hatchet is called the Axe One, AX1. Um, it's coming around $75. It is uh, 1066 carbon. It has 11.81 inch length to it. And the cutting edge on the hatchet is 2.95 inches, and it's a convex grind. The knife is the BSH3. It's coming in around $40. Um, it's also 1066 carbon. Um, it has a 4.72 inch blade, um, walnut handles, comes with a leather sheath. This comes with a leather mask, but also comes with a nice leather belt dangler. So you get that with the hatchet. And the sheath on the knife, I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, so what I wanna do is I just wanna start messing with these and doing some wood processing because that's the way I, I would use them. Um, I'm not much of a wood carver, um, but I know some people are. And I know that this size of hatchet um, is perfect for carving uh, just because of the length and the weight. It's just got a, it's got a nice feel to it, um, but for camp chores, uh, this is what I would use it for, and I definitely want to do some testing with it and see how it performs. They're using an ash handle on this. Overall, I think the quality looks good. It's definitely a nice looking piece. There's that edge. And one thing to note is when you get these from Beavercraft, um, they are wicked sharp right out of the box. I was really surprised how sharp this hatchet is and how sharp the knife is. Both of them. Then here's the knife. Now I, um, I actually showed this knife in one of my previous videos. I was just kind of messing with it for an afternoon um, when I was talking about some bug out gear. Uh, and I carried this in the field and did some shavings with it and uh, just some light chores. But, uh, I was overly impressed with it. I really like the shape of this knife. I love that deep belly, uh, nice point. And it's just a good looking blade. And it's really comfortable. From what I've used it so far, I found it to be extremely comfortable in the hand. I like that handle shape. It just fits my hands very well. And it's a good looking knife.
definitely miss the longer handle. Um, it's a short handled hatchet, so you're not getting as much swing on it. Um, but I think where it's going to shine is the smaller tasks. That wood is nice and dry on the inside, which is awesome. Splits wood pretty well. There we go. Wow. All right, well. <laughs> it's just taking off little super fine Shirley Temple curly cues. It's kind of gliding on that wood, not biting in at all. That's nice. Not bad. All right, let's discuss the sheath for this knife. So this is the sheath that it comes with. Um, it's a dangler style sheath. And what you do is slip it in like that. And there's a press stud that the piece of leather goes over and then dangles like this. Now I will say that if I was to fault this knife on anything, it would be the sheath. The sheath is not my favorite. Um, I would much prefer something a little bit more heavy duty in the leather department. Um, you can see how much um, give there is right with this and how flexible it is and thin it is. This worries me a little bit. Um, I would um, probably make my own leather sheath for this um, and go something with a heavier duty, thicker leather that's going to hold the knife. Um, it looks nice. It does securely hold the knife. Um, I wore it out here 
hiking around and I didn't lose the knife. The knife was not flopping around a lot. Um, it stayed where it's supposed to. Uh, the knife um, performs extremely well, uh, very sharp. The point held up very well to beating it into this solid uh, seasoned log um, and did not bend, break. Uh, there are no chips, cracks in this knife whatsoever. Um, I've been using it to make curls and to baton with and do some, you know, basic uh, wood processing. And it's held up extremely well. And once again, I'll reiterate, the handle is extremely comfortable for my hand. I really like it. Um, let's see how that fits. Fits really well. And the nice thing with this walnut, you can, you know, if you want to, you can stain this darker. Um, you can add oil to it to protect it. Uh, so it's something you can do maintenance on um, as you use the knife and it'll just become deeper and richer and more seasoned looking as you use it, um, especially with the oils from your hand. But I think it's really um, a great blade shape um, for bushcrafting. Yeah. video I just wanted to give you kind of an overview of these products what I thought of them I think overall they're great um, starter sets for someone who's just getting into this camping and bushcrafting all right guys I am going to get out of here thank you so much for watching the video um, if you like this content please subscribe to the channel consider that um, and also check out the affiliate links down below all kinds of good stuff down there at the Amazon store also check out preparedwander.com for blog articles and links to the videos and other items. And then um, check out the Facebook group, getting huge. I mean, we're about to hit 8,000 members right now on Facebook. And um, it, it's just all kinds of extra content from me, from the admins, from people on the forum, they're adding their own stuff. So it's, it's a great way to pick up extra information and learn from other people. Um, it's a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching my videos. And we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.